Hey guys, Brian and Aaron here from 5 to Go. We are back up at Cruise America in Denver. Mm -hmm. They saw all of our videos and we've been talking with them and we wanted to just be honest and straightforward and upfront. They are giving us a pretty good discount on renting one of these for the week. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take one of these for a week and we're gonna take it out on a couple trips and we're gonna take you guys with us. Uh, but first we wanted to go through the whole pickup process. Right. We've never rented an RV before. Uh, we've rented cars and stuff, but that's really different actually. Really is. So we're going to go through the whole pickup process. We've got the manager here, Chris, awesome guy. He's gonna walk us through everything. And uh, we're just gonna kind of take a look at one of these units. The sale unit that we looked at that's over on the other lot a couple videos ago is a 2015 model. This is a brand new one. This is a 2020, has less than 20,000 miles on it. Mm -hmm. So there are going to be some differences and we will cover those differences in a different video. Right. So for today, let's just talk about the pickup process, everything that's included, everything that's extra, mm -hmm. and kind of how the whole, you know, Cruise America rental process works. And again, thank you to Cruise America for giving us a discount on this rental, Yay. but they are not paying us. Nope. to make this video they're not paying us for kind words or nope. anything like that you'll get so, our honest opinion like you always do you always do <laughs> so let's go ahead and grab chris and then we'll get in the unit and take a look at it we took care of all of the paperwork inside giving our licenses and getting all of the rental information kind of taken care of and then now we've moved out in here to the rig and I have Chris here with me, who is the Denver Hub Manager. And we're gonna kinda go over some of the things that are included, but some of the things that are extra if you want to add them on into your rental. So what sort of things are included when we're getting these rentals? So on board with every rental, um, you're gonna have the owner's manual, which is really a traveler's assistance guide. So if there's any issues or any technical problems, it helps kind of work through any of those user errors um, and then just help to see if we know if it's a technical issue. And you said earlier, this was in like a bunch of different languages. Mm -hmm. so I believe it's about 11 different languages wow. just to make sure we have a lot of international renters. Great, great. Um, we also include on board, you know, fresh water hose mm -hmm. um, so you can fill up or just get that fresh water in. Um, we also have picnic tables, fold out picnic tables that are in the storage area in okay. the back. Um, and then each rental is also included with a sewer dump hose as well. Perfect. And how clean are those? The sewer dump hoses? Yes. <laughs> I mean, they get used. They're pretty dirty on the inside. Right. Um, if they're dirty or damaged, we do replace them. We keep a stock in the back just to make sure, um, you know, if there's any issues, we can swap them out. Okay. And you really shouldn't worry about this too much because your stuff's going to go through this hose too. Just wear gloves. It's fine. <laughs> what sort of things can we get if we pay a little bit extra? Sure. So we could start out with our personal kit. Um, it's just, you know, for everyday living. Um, so it has some towels in there to clean yourself in the shower and some dishes. Uh, we also include a blanket, pillow, sheets. Okay. Um, we also have our provisioning kit. That includes things to get you through um, you know, a broom, right, to clean the, the vehicle out. Um, some things to help barbecue with. We have slotted turners, spoons, cups, mugs. Um, it's essentially just a cooking kit. Um, mm -hmm. Also comes with pots and pans in there as well. Okay. Um, we can also get you some camping chairs just mm -hmm. to hang out depending on how many people you have coming with you. Um, we also offer um, a prepaid option for two items. So if for those people that don't want to deal with um, dirty dump hoses, mm -hmm. they can prepay for um, a you know nominal amount to have us dump that out for them. Okay. Um, so we can take care of that upon return. They can leave it full. And then same thing with our propane. We're going to give you at the beginning of the rental a full propane tank. Mm -hmm. And when you bring it back to us, if you'd like to bring it back empty, we can refill that for okay. you. Great. The final item we have is um, it's our zero deductible plan. It's just a peace of mind plan where every rental that we offer included in the price that you book comes with full insurance, collision and liability. Um, there is a deductible that's involved in that. And if you wanted to waive your responsibility on that deductible, you can just pay us a few dollars a day to cover it. Okay. Sounds like a good deal. And is there anything else we need to know about the rig in general? Just any type of good kind of... So, yeah, a few pre-departure things. Yes, um, thank you. <laughs> yeah, any pre-departure items, we like to walk around. We do our damage inspections. Um, if anybody has questions at that point, we're going to answer any individual questions. Um, everybody's camping experience is very different. Right. It's going to vary greatly, so um, we make sure they watch the pre-departure video. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 26-minute instructional orientation video to kind of familiarize them with the vehicle. Okay. All of our vehicles are pretty much carbon copies of each other, um, so they all look very similar, and it's easy. If you've been in one, it's easy to recognize it and kind of have... Uh, uh, familiarity with it mm -hmm. um, but pre-departure items you know we always um, recommend checking gas checking the propane and just um, double checking everything in the vehicle to make sure that everything is where you want it 
what kind of things do you guys do when they come back in? Like, how do you make sure that they're clean for the next person or that there's not any type of weird, like, maintenance thing that needs to happen if you're, you know, especially during, like, your peak season and stuff? Sure. So, well, um, if something weird pops up, um, you know, if a customer indicates anything to us, we actually have hang tags we put in the window. Uh, we mark them down, whatever the problem was that was indicated to us as, as best as we can mm -hmm. describe it. Um, and then we have a very extensive checklist that our mechanics go through as well as um, our detail agents who are going to go through and clean the vehicle. They just follow our checklists. They make sure that they go through the vehicle from bumper to bumper. They mm -hmm. take care of everything that needs to be taken care of. Great. I noticed that on these newer rigs that are a little different from the one that we looked at that you guys are selling, that everything's kind of easily wiped down. Does that make it easier to clean or disinfect or mm -hmm. how, how has that kind of helped your process? Yeah, similar to our mechanic and our maintenance, every one of our vehicles is given the same care. We have, you know, our agents have a checklist to go through from top to bottom to make sure they're cleaning them very well. Um, but with that said, yes, our new vehicles have um, uh, an easier material, uh, makes it easier for us to clean them off, mm -hmm. uh, just gives it a little bit more of a comfort, uh, comfortable feeling for our renters. Okay, good deal. Chris, thank you so much for taking your time to explain everything for us and to our viewers. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. And we are going to take this home and kind of check out how it rides on our hour and a half trip home and then get ready for a couple of trips this week. We're here! This thing's very noisy. <laughs> there are sounds that we're going to need to identify and dampen because it's driving me a little crazy. <laughs> So we've pulled in now and we have it at the house. We've got it plugged in. I don't know if we've mentioned this before, uh, but we do have a 30 amp plug here at the house. Yeah. So that's nice. Yep, that's very nice. Can I give this to Thank you to you. hold? Sure. Thank you. All right, <laughs> All right so we are, we're home. Uh, we're gonna wrap up this first episode. We're gonna have a lot of episodes this week. I'm yes. guessing at least three or four. Yeah, we Maybe have a lot more. of stuff to we share. See. We'll see. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and finish kind of crawling around this thing. We're going to give you guys a full tour of this. Mm -hmm. We're going to compare it to the sale units we saw because there are some differences. Yes. This and is a 2020, if we didn't say it earlier. Yep, it's a 2020. Same model, same length, same mm -hmm. everything, same layout. All that's mm -hmm. the same, but it is five years newer, and they change things. They iterate on things based on things that break, feedback they get from guests, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a full-blown tour of this thing in the next video, mm -hmm. and then after that, we're going to do some traveling. We're going to let you know... You know, some kind of things we feel about, you know, this versus traveling with a Travel towable. Yeah. Um, and just some stuff like that. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.